The Concordia Student Run Food Groups Documentary and Archival Project is an initiative to document and promote the achievements of the sustainable student run cooperatives at Concordia, dating for more than 18 years, with the higher purpose of creating an alternative solution to the corporatization of food sources in campus. The full project is overseen by Eric Chevrier and Kim Gagnon and new material will be available on the initiative's websites. The Stexo Marriott deal was put off in 2002 after 37 students and residents got food poisoning from chicken fajitas from the Loyola cafeteria in 2001. A couple of suggestions to replace Sodexo Maria included a student-run multi-ethnic food court that would be a commercial operation, but in the end the food service deal went to Chartwells, another large food company. Chartwells is a subsidiary of Compass Group. Chartwells contract has been in effect for 11 years and is set to expire in 2015. Here is what Haley, an ex-Concordian resident, had to say about Chartwells. Uh, I'm Haley. I am studying human relations with a minor in sociology, and I was in res two years ago. Um, and part of that is you have to um, agree to a uh, food plan. I didn't enjoy the food at all. I mean, it was it was taste-wise, it was okay, but. Um, I had major digestion issues, um, yeah, a lot of stomach pains, and um, everything is from a package, everything is super processed, even the, the vegetables and fruits were, I mean, lacking in color, and $4,000 a year, so yeah, it was a trap, I couldn't, it was a trap, I couldn't, it was a trap. The Concordia Food Coalition, CFC, was created after discussions about the Chartwells contract at Concordia. Diverse members of the Concordia community gathered and organized to understand sustainable food systems and the possibilities for Concordia. The CFC holds strong beliefs that helping people understand sustainable food systems helps with social issues and health issues. People's Potatoes started in 1999 based on a passion for vegetarian food. They were also dedicated to the anti-poverty politics. Their main goal was to provide an alternative to corporate-ran cafeterias on campus. Now they are located on the 7th floor hall building and are able to feed more than 400 students daily. If ever you are in the area, come treat yourself to some good vegan food from People's Potato. The greenhouse was initially a space for the biology department, which was abandoned when the science department moved to the Loyola campus. In 2003, the greenhouse was vacant and became an initiative of Sustainable Concordia. Their goal was to raise awareness around food issues and alternatives to mainstream consumerism, which is still in place today. They have different workshops, such as the Tea Project, which are available to all. They also have space that is available for rent. If you ever need a good study space or you're just curious to see what's growing at this time, stop by the hall building rooftop and they will be more than happy to show you around. In 1996, the Frigo Ver began as a project organized by QPIRG formally titled Eat Your Peel Buying Group. The purpose of the Frigo Ver was to buy organic food directly from local wholesalers and was the first of its kind in Canada. The Frigo Ver is a student-run, non-profit workers' collective. You should know that the Frigo Ver offers fair trade coffee for less than a dollar. The Frigo Ver receives a fee levy from Concordia students and therefore we are automatically deemed members and have access to a 20% discount. If you are conscious about your health and the environment, the Frigo Ver is a place for you.